Have you ever started doing something with great motivation and will to turn your life around, only to find yourself three months after staying in the same place? What happened to you? How did you get demotivated? The reason why most people stop taking action in life is that they have lost their vision. They stopped seeing themselves as important. Their self-esteem got eroded in the process of working towards their dream. Failures along the way made them feel that they weren't made for it. They filled their mind with negative self-talk. Excuses started to fill up the mind. The journey to your dream is a marathon, not a sprint. You will be tested several times along the way. You will feel that the world is against you. It's gonna be hard. And that's why you should keep moving forward. You get to know the real you when you fight against all the hardships and rise. The obstacle is the way. Henry Ford once said, when everything seems to be going against you, remember that the airplane takes off against the wind, not with it. The pain in the road today is supposed to be there. The road to winning is filled with pain, rejection, small failures, discouragement, self-doubt, and discomfort. You have to be patient, persistent, and positive in the pursuit of success. Most people want to experience the dream without fear, but this is impossible. The only way to reach great heights is to face your fears and conquer them. There is incredible potential inside you. Each second you waste being in self-doubt, your potential is wasted. Each ticking of the clock is your life passing. Your excuses can be valid, but it's not going to take you where you want to go. You have to take full ownership of your life. You're giving your power away when blaming other people or circumstances for your failures. The life you have now is the result of your actions in the past. No one is coming to help you if you cannot help yourself. So take actions that will help you. That might be awful now, but five years or 10 years from now, you will regret it if you don't take them. As the late Jim Rohn would say, we must all suffer from one of two pains, the pain of discipline or the pain of regret. The difference is discipline weighs ounces while regret weighs tons. Don't you believe you deserve more in life? Don't you think your time is valuable? Then why isn't it reflected in your actions? Treat yourself better. Take time daily to improve yourself. Learn and build new and better habits. If you ask most people why they don't go to the gym, they would say they're busy. But the same person is ready to waste their time on social media. Life is going to happen. And you're gonna set up a plan and you're gonna hope that it's gonna turn out perfect but what so often happens in life is that things go the wrong way. In that moment, you're going to have to choose your reaction. You're going to have to control your emotions. Most people would let their emotions control them. And that's why months after months, they are in the same place that they no more want to be in. You're going to have to change the way you approach hardships if you want to be successful. When life happens, do you have the right reaction or the wrong reaction? Sometimes we think that pain or situations is what controls us, but it's our subconscious mind. How do we control the subconscious mind? Get yourself talk right. David Goggins once said, the most important conversation you will ever have are the ones you have with yourself. When you face an obstacle next time and your mind says, let's go back, this is hard, decide to shut off that voice and tell yourself, I'm gonna do it hard. And when you do this repeatedly, your subconscious mind will reprogram itself to your advantage. And that's what you want. You will have to fill your mind with words that motivate you constantly. Sometimes you will have to stop listening and start talking to yourself. When you are down and don't want to do it anymore, listen to something encouraging, like what you're doing now. This is a sign that you're on the right track. Never stop learning and improving. Our minds are more attracted to negative thoughts than positive ones. We love to think about what will go wrong, but not what can go in our favor. If you don't program your mind to your advantage, you will unconsciously engage in self-destructive behavior. As Les Brown said, if you don't program yourself, life will program you. You've got to try.